Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add the Ace Arsenal to any of your missions. The only mods you'll need for this is CBA and Ace itself. So I'll leave the line of code in the description so you can just copy and paste it into your mission if you know what to do with it. But I'm going to go on with the rest of this tutorial and show you how you can kind of change it to your liking. And you can actually use it not only on ammo boxes but on pretty much any object and AI. You can even put it on players if you really wanted to. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, the code is what you see here in the init. Like I said, it'll be in the description. It's just one line. It's really, really simple. So in terms of what each part of this code does, first part of the array off the left, the bit where it says this, this is essentially the object that is going to be performing the action on. So for example, if we called this box, all we'd have to do is change this to box. Um, this also means that we can put this in external files, so if we wanted to put this in the init.sqf or the init player local, whatever kind of file you want to do outside of the game itself, you can just change it, so long as the variable name for the object you're trying to execute on is the same. So I'm just going to get rid of this and I'm going to change this back to this. The next part of this array is a boolean, or you can have it as an array of strings as well. So for example, if you were to have... Um, a set amount, uh, set types of items that you wanted within this box, you'd make an array which is two square brackets um, and it's all stringable items. So, for example, you'd have uh, obviously it'd be class names, but you'd have like item one um, and then you'd have item two, etc. etc. Obviously, making sure that all of your formatting is correct, but we're just going to leave this as true because that, what that adds is all of the items that are available in the Ace Arsenal adds them all to it. The last part that I don't actually use, um, if you put another comma it's completely optional, you can add it globally, um, and again this is a boolean so it would be true or false. I personally have never really had to use this, but if you want to learn how to use it I'll link the um, Ace Arsenal framework in the description as well. And it takes you through exactly how to do what, um, down to adding virtual items and removing them, whitelisting and blacklisting certain objects, etc, etc. So I'll leave that in the description for you to look at. So in order to add this to any other object, we literally just copy and paste it. So we can add it onto a box, a car, I mean even a fence if you really wanted to. I'm going to add it onto this guy and you can see I've already put it there. So we just click OK, I'm going to save it. If you're wondering, by the way, I'm on the trainer map for uh, my unit, which is Stone Marines. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well if you wish to go take a look. Um, I'm going to jump into game so I can show you what it looks like and I will see you in a moment. Okay, cool. So we're in game now, and as you can see, we've got the ammo box here as well as the player. Obviously, because it's Ace Arsenal, it doesn't come up in the add action, so you have to hold Windows, Interactions, and then you'll see the Arsenal option. Now I'm going to go to the player, um, Interactions, and then Arsenal. And now, obviously, we can access the Arsenal. Because of the way we set it up, it has complete full whitelisting on every object, so you can see it all here. Obviously, I've got loads of different mods on. But if you have things like RHS and pretty much any weapon, accessory, um, or apparel mod on, it will all be in Ace Arsenal. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.